DaVinci Resolve 18 beta is getting better and better with every update. Not only are there less crashes and bugs, but we're also getting to see some cool new features like the depth mask and the surface tracker and what seems to be everyone's favorite object mass. But the feature that's got me the most excited as a solo filmmaker came with the most recent update, and that's the gyroscopic stabilization. Let me explain. Apparently, Blackmagic Design's pocket cinema cameras have always had the ability to read gyroscopic data. It was just locked away, unable to be taken advantage of. But the most recent update to the pocket cinema cameras allows us to actually record that gyroscopic data and the most recent version of Resolve 18 beta, or at least the version that was released when I filmed this, is able to read that data and use it to get better stabilization of your footage. The concept is fairly easy. Make sure your pocket cinema cameras are up to date. Make sure that Resolve 18 beta is up to date. And when you drop your footage into your timeline, head to the stabilization section in your inspector. Change the drop down box to camera gyro, hit stabilize, and you're done. And for the most part, it works really, really well. Unlike with other modes of stabilization, it doesn't create that horrible warping around the edges that you get with other types of stabilization. And in general, the image looks really good. Now, there are some limitations to this that you need to understand before you dive in and just think that this is horrible. First, this only works with the gyro data in the pocket cinema camera. So if you try to do this with another type of camera, it's not going to work. Second, the camera will only record the gyro data if you have a lens that either doesn't have lens stabilization or has stabilization turned off. I did an entire shoot with my lens stabilization turned on, and when I went to go stabilize the footage in post, the camera gyro option was, it wasn't there. Third, this isn't magic. It's not going to make your footage look like it was shot on a tripod. What this does is get rid of all the micro jitters and major shakiness of handheld footage, but it's still going to look like handheld footage. The last thing to keep in mind is the fact that gyro stabilization, just like any form of stabilization, will crop your footage once it's done its thing. And the more you move your camera, the more it's going to crop in. So you still need to be very intentional about how you film. Overall, I've had some great results of this once I learned the limitations, but I have gotten some comments from people who say that the gyro stabilization in DaVinci Resolve 18 is horrible. So I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments what your experience has been with both the gyro stabilization and DaVinci Resolve 18 as a whole, because personally, I think it's gotten a lot better since the first release. You remember that? If not, check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.